knock on the door and the night begins. For these candy corn cupcakes, I just found this mix at Target. First, I preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and then I put these cupcake liners into the cupcake tray that I have. Just wanna make you feel good. So I just followed the recipe on the back of this box. Summer nights when you cry, baby. Now, 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 now. In the tears, bring them here, baby. Now, 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 now. I'm gonna make it right. You gotta love your life. Hold me and don't let go. You gotta recognize it's never too. So I divided the batter into two separate bowls, and one bowl I put yellow food coloring and the other I put orange food coloring that came with the box. Now I am just putting the yellow cake batter into half of the cupcake liner. To fill the rest of the cupcake liner up, I am just pouring the orange cake batter right on top of the yellow cake batter to make it like a layered effect. Then I just put this into the oven that I preheated. This is what they looked like when I took them out of the oven. I think they looked really, really good. I They cooked perfectly. I put them in for like about 18 minutes. For the toppings, I'm just using buttercream frosting, candy corn, and some Halloween bean sprinkles. So I just used a Ziploc bag to make my own piping bag, and I just piped on a little glob of icing, and then after that, I just spread it along with a knife so it didn't look that messy. These Halloween sprinkles actually came with the box, so um, I just decided that I was going to top the icing off with some of them. After the sprinkles, I just put a piece of candy corn on top. For the Halloween marshmallows, all you need is some jumbo marshmallows, um, pretzels. I have these peanut butter pretzels. You don't need them, but I have them. And um, some chocolate chips to melt. But I didn't use these Twizzlers. I don't know why I put them in. I put them in by mistake. I found that it was easier to put like skewers in the marshmallows so I could easily dip them into the chocolate. I used a double boiler to melt the chocolate. When the chocolate was melted, I just dipped the marshmallow into the chocolate. After dipping it into the chocolate, I just put the sprinkles and pretzel on top. Then I just refrigerated them for as long as I needed to. Just wanna make you feel good. Feel good.